why did you go with the name analog? Just curious. Yes, I can give you some backstory there. I'm going to go back to the repo here. Uh, yes. Why is this project named analog? So, um, <laughs> analog, not digital. Yes. This project, the name for the project was inspired and I actually created it, the, the person in the readme, um, about this, but you see the contributors there, the original project that, uh, I was, that I got this name from was this project by a person who used to work at Google. I believe they used to work at Google. Uh, and as you see, this project is long gone by now, but, uh, this project was effectively trying to use, trying to use a different component authoring format, which was looks similar to JSX, uh, analog, um, I think his name's Rob, Rob Delaney wrote this project a while long ago. And if, let's see if I can find the tweet, uh, Brandon T Roberts rent free. It's bad that I, uh, still remember these things. Yes, here it is. This was the original tweet for the, uh, that kind of sparked this whole thing. Uh, he, the tweet was, what if I told you this was angular? And as you can see, he has some components that look like, uh, JSX components. Um, so a counter use state use pipe, uh, those things are familiar through with angular. And then we have a component down here that's used templates using JSX, but all of this kind of compiled down to angular. So I have been digging, digging, digging for this project. Uh, and as you see, this pro this was four years ago. I have been digging for this tweet forever. And then I actually found it. And of course, this project didn't really go anywhere, but the name of the project is what stuck out to me. So I was trying to think of a name for a meta framework for Angular and analog came to mind. Uh, this project came to mind. So I was like, okay, cool. That that's a pretty kind of generic name. So I went with analog JS so like, okay, that might work. So then of course we go to NPM and we say, okay, is analog is analog available on NPM? Um, and of course we look, go to NPM. So I go back in time. It's like, oh, published eight years ago. There's a project called Analog already. Okay, cool. Um, but Analog JS uh, was not taken on NPM. So uh, that was the first drop in the in the bucket here uh, for Analog. Uh, so Analog was Analog JS was available on NPM. So when it grabbed that org. Uh, went and grabbed the org on GitHub, analog JS. Uh, went and grabbed the org on GitHub. It's like, okay, cool. That was there. Um, so when it looked domain, went and grabbed the domain, analog JS was there. I'm like, man, all of these things kind of like fell in place. Um, all of these things fell in place for analog to at least have the name. So I wouldn't have to have, you know, I wanted a consistent name and like brand everywhere. So, uh, have the, like I said, was able to grab the NPM org, the GitHub org and the domain and Marco who's on the NGRX team, uh, pointed me to the Twitter handle. He said, Hey, the Twitter handle is available. Uh, you should grab it before somebody else does. And I was like, yes, I like created a Gmail account and went through that, uh, signed up for the, the Gmail account, created the analog account on Twitter. Um, and so I had all the pieces in place to, for the project itself, as far as a name, even if I never did anything with it, like I had the domains and everything that was there. So that was the. Uh, that is more or less the backstory of how I got the name analog and plus it was similar to angular. So that was kind of like the icing on top. Um, but yes, I wanted something that was similar to that. And as of course, as you can see with the logo, um, 
the logo is similar to the Angular logo, well, it's two parts. Most of the other meta frameworks, use, for some reason, use triangles. <laughs> like if we go to Next.js, what do you see? Triangle. Uh, if we go to Nuxt, uh, what do we see? Triangles. <laughs> so uh, what do we do with analog? Triangles. Uh, but the the colors and the kind of theme match the red and the white, the two shades of red and the white uh, with Angular. So everything <laughs> kind of just works together there. Uh, Cause you gotta be able to like tell a story, right? Uh, be able to tell a story with what you're, what you're trying to promote. So being able to tie all those things together was kind of was kind of like worked out like i said worked out in the favor for the project so uh, whether i had ever done anything with it or not i still had all the branding and stuff there so that's kind of the backstory of how analog came to be just like the original project it's a crazy idea that may or may not go anywhere but i'm going to do it either way so there you go